Hello ladies and gents, I'm CJ Blaskovich, and welcome back to Fallout 2. Alright, we were trying to get to new areas beyond this. Well, we should probably ask somebody something. Oh fuck it, I know where I'm going. Well, shit. Also, I forgot something that I need to do. Okay, we go over to this side. We need to go see Mom. Um. Okay. This guy. Spare some change for an out-of-work farmer? Ah. Uh... What's your story? He sobers up quickly and begins to tell his tale. I used to be an upstanding citizen before coming here. I was a peaceful farmer that worked. Ah, the fields as hard as any man until they started showing up at night, all glowing with pasty white skins. Spooked the hell out of me, it did. Night after night, they showed up and stole crops and cattle alike. I could do nothing to stop them. I know what you're gonna say. Why didn't you ask for help? I tell you, I did. Nobody would believe me. They thought I was crazy. Finally, it just became too much for me. I couldn't take it anymore. I just up and left and came here, and here I've been ever since. Carl starts to weep uncontrollably. You decide to leave him with his misery. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here's where a bad idea comes into play, because Vic is pretty much useless without a gun. So, we go in, close that door, and let's lock it. You deftly lock the door. Okay, come on guys. Why are Vic and Sulik not out here? Okay. And we're gonna close that. And lock it. Lock it. I said lock it. Aha! Okay. Okay. This is a dumb idea. Okay. She's gonna run away. Good job, Sulik. And... Boom. Ow. Is he dead? Please tell me he's dead. Damn it. All right, reload, and let's move away. Shit, they're firing out the windows. Um... They can't get to us, maybe... And I realize it's a 
handsy ass thing to do, but. Damn. Okay. Can I shoot anybody? Alright. No, I can't. Wait. All right. We're not going to get him. Of course, they're not going to get out. So... Let's, uh... just try to get to the exit and then maybe we'll be able to come back get the stuff that they had maybe I don't know Okay. Maybe I can sneak over there? I'm gonna come back and kill these guys anyways. Done. And... Done. Okay. Alright, sweet. Um... Go talk to Vic. Trade. Sweet. We can get him using at least a weapon. Did he really just tell me as you wish? That's just creepy. Alright, that's it for now. Let's bail. <clears throat> okay. I have a weapon. Never mind. Let's not talk to him. Okay. And hopefully Vic is a hell of a lot more useful now that he has a firearm. Oh god, red scorpions. Oh shit. Um, move away. Oh god. Um.
Oh, thank God. Yeah, all they're gonna have is scorpion tails. Wait, let's check this cave really quick. Whoa. Um. Shit. Well, I just walked into a bad situation. Let's make it worse. And I'm dead. Alright, let's not. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, merchant party. Um, caravan master, scarred traveler, scarred traveler, slave. Um, let's try this. Because this fucker just called me do gooder. Okay, guys. You can kill them anytime you like. Ah, shit. This may have been a bad idea. Yep. It was a bad idea. Let's just walk away. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. Vic, you gotta hit something eventually. All right, come on. Suluk, don't die. Okay, um, move away, just a little bit. Ow, he's punching me. Those actually really hurt. Damn, Sulik is frickin' beast. No, nope, no he's not. Probably gonna die again.
Walking away. Oh god. Um, are we going to be able to do anything? Oh god, I just killed a red scorpion. I got lucky. Shit. Yeah, I'm alright. Against people, not so much. Against plants and scorpions, yeah, I'm pretty good. You're dead. Whoa! Um, I didn't aim at Sulik. Okay, I gotta take Vic off defensive for now. Because he is doing precisely between Jack and shit. Wait, I've never done custom. You're bleeding a bit. Distance. Um. Keep them spread out. Okay. Alright, itchy eye. Let's go. What? Oh, wait. What? No. Um. Come now, or you will be made an example of. I would rather what knowledge I have disappear with me. That was, um, a thing. You seem to find people in the wrong place at the wrong time. Do they have anything on them? Yep. 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 Okay. Whatever. Let's get it out of here. We finally made it. Okay. Reload. We don't need weapons out. All right, what do we got?
Use those. One of those. All those. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Sorry, this trading post is closed indefinitely due to the drought. Who says I'm here to trade? What? Oh, you must be new around here. Welcome to MODOK. My name is Joe. I run the, the trading post here at MODOK. I'm on a quest... Wait, what can you tell me about this town? What do you want to talk about? The slaughterhouse, Rose's bed and breakfast, the tannery, or the trading post? Bed and breakfast? North side of town, travelers from all over come to sample world-famous omelets. Frankly, I think that's just a bunch of nonsense. Okay, slaughterhouse. Grisham and his son, Davin, it's just east of here. He makes the best damn jerky this side of the Rockies. Where's the tannery? Follow your nose and you'll find it. Can you smell that foul stench in the air? That's the tanning vats just north of here. You'll overlook the smell, you'll not find a better place to get leather goods. Balthus can work miracles with leather. Tell me about the trading post. Like I said before, my name's Joe. I run a. I organize trade between Modoc and other cities. In need of food and leather goods, but with this drought, that could all come to an end real soon. We're getting desperate. Oh, that's our town church. The people of Modoc built it to show their faith. Lately, there has been much to be thankful for, so nobody attends the sermons anymore. A few more questions. Um, I'm looking for a certain item. I wonder if you might be able to help me. I'm looking for the Gek. Well, you're in luck. I just happen to know where it is. I guess we have some more business to discuss. What do you want for this information? Ah, yes, what I want. If you hadn't noticed yet, our little farming community is experiencing some of the, one of its worst droughts ever. The raining season was unusually short this year, and our crops are dead or dying from lack of water. To put it bluntly, our community is on the verge of withering away. Um, no, I can't make it rain, right? No, no, of course not. I wouldn't ask you to do something as impossible to... Is that? You really can't make it rain, can you? No, of course you can't. Anyways, like I was saying, we're in trouble and could use your help. I'm listening. There's this farm at the outskirts of town where no farm should be. Some years back, it just appeared out of nowhere. Are you saying this farm just sprung up overnight? Yeah, right. Okay, a group of us were out hunting when we noticed the new farm, but it wasn't the strange thing. Soon after, some of us got together to visit our new neighbor, only to discover that there wasn't anybody there. After many months of trying to contact the owners with no success, it was decided that the farm must have been abandoned soon after it was built, so instead of letting the crops rot in the fields, young Carl moved in. That's when things got bad. Carl started to tell stories of seeing strange glowing figures tending the crops and feeding the animals at night. We laughed at him, thinking he was making up stories. Then one day, Carl stopped coming into town. Did you look for him? Of course we did. We went up there as soon as we suspected something was wrong. The horror, bodies strewn everywhere, some crucified, while others were left to rot out in the sun. I still wake, woke, wake up screaming in the middle of the night from the horrible images I saw that day. So, let me guess, you want me to go f to this farm and find out what happened? Normally, I would just leave that cursed place be, but for some reason the crops at this farm are still flourishing despite the drought. We'll starve if we don't get food soon. Will you help us get rid of rid the farm of these ghosts? What do I get out of this? In return for helping us, I'll tell you where you can find what you seek. Okay. Seal... Let's seal the deal. Cut off your right pinky finger. We're desperate, and I believe you're the only person that could pull this off, so I guess it's a small sacrifice if it'll save our town. Joe takes out a knife.
Uh, stop him before he cuts his finger off. Day northeast of here, he pulls out a map and points to a spot northeast of Modoc. Come back when you found something. Cool. Okay. Let's see what things can be done around town. Ooh, what's this? Alright. Before we go down there. Okay. Wait. I was intending to talk to somebody. Specific. Alright. This is the tannery. This is the guy I want to talk to. Hi. How's it going? Alright. Hello, my name's Balthus. I run the tannery here in Modoc. Can I help you? Something wrong? Oh, look, I don't discuss my personal life with strangers. Do you have any business? My name is... Pardon me, my name is Blaskovich. Now that we're properly introduced, you seem troubled. Well, I'm worried about my missing son, Johnny. We've searched everywhere, but still can't find him. I fear that maybe wild animals got him. Maybe I can help. Uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little bit helps. In the meantime, did you have business with me? Mm, I'd like to see his work. Alright. We're good. Down this hole. Ooh. There's stuff down here. Let's take it. Alright. Okay, this looks bad. What's this? Johnny's BB gun. Well, better take it back to his dad. Uh, this is gonna break his heart. Oh well. I found this at the bottom of the old dry well. A part of the well had fallen in, and this was in the debris. I'm sorry, but I believe Johnny is dead. That's Johnny's BB gun, alright. No. Okay, he's crying. I made a grown man cry. Uh, let's do some other quests around here. Alright. What's this? Hey, how you doing? Uh... I didn't steal the watch, so stop coming over here and harassing poor old Feral. What do you do around here? Well, I mostly putter around in the garden, trying to make those damn plants grow without water. But I couldn't do that now, because something big has moved in and I can't seem to get rid of it. Without any food for my garden, I'll surely starve. I can help you for a price. Look around, I'm just a poor old man. I can barely afford to keep myself fed, let alone reward you. Eh, might as well. Alright, let's kill shit. Sweet. Damn. 
Way to go. Target out of range. Still out of range. Okay. Wait. I can get him. Got it. Ha <laughs> ha. Anything else? All right. Holy hell. Ah, uh, nope. Let's just reload. And... Okay. Okay, and I can't hit that damn thing. Oh shit, I'm poisoned. Fuck you, rat. Okay, go. We almost got this. God. Well, they can handle that. Reload. Sweet, I leveled up. But... I needed that. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next mission.